ladies. Good morning. Um, I am sorry that I wanted to go live Sunday. Well, my kids were extra. I thought, well, I'll get ready for church with these ladies on Sunday. That didn't happen. I didn't even put on a full face of makeup on Sunday for church. And then yesterday, I had to take my father-in-law to the doctor, which his doctor is like almost two hours away. So it was, it was crazy. And so today, I took my kids to my father-in-law and was like, hey, you need to watch your grandchildren while I get some work done because I actually have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. And my husband and I, I'm just taking yesterday's glue off of my lashes. Um, to and yes, my husband and I've been purging our house, and so I have a tr truck full of stuff I'm gonna donate to the thrift store today. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then I'm gonna be shopping for. We're getting our family pictures done next week. We're going to New Mexico next week, and my sister's a photographer. And so, today's a busy day, but I'm kid-free, so I can do it done, get it all done really easy. Okay, so I'm going to do a full-on glam for you ladies today. This morning, before I did my hair, I did my Tula Glow Stick. I put this under my eyes and around my eyes, and it takes away, like, the night puffiness. I do have a 20% off code for you if you like to get a really good skincare routine. And then I also did the Saint Cream. I like to give this about 15, 20 minutes to soak into my skin before I do my makeup. Because with this cream-based foundation, it will not stick to your face if your skincare routine is not fully soaked into your skin. So this is what I do before I do my hair, let it soak in, and then I'm ready for, to put on my makeup. So for Saint products, like I said, they are all cream based. So I don't use a primer, but to prep my face, I love to use the Saint setting spray. And I'm not a fan of the nozzle on this thing. And so I just pour my Saint setting spray in this cheapy little spruzzy bottle that I have forever. I spray on my Perfecto blending bud. I do it three times and then I'm just going to swipe all over like this and put it all over my face and this is great prep for this cream foundation because I find that if you are a primer girl and you're like my makeup's not sticking well you probably need to use the Saint setting spray for your primer so this is a great prep especially if you're oily skin I am oily skin so this works great if you would rather use a primer find a silicone free primer so um gosh there's so there's so many different primers out there i really don't know much about them because i just use my setting spray but if you can find a silicone free i'm gonna take a bite of my oatmeal i'm trying to do like a million things at one time since i'm kid free Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm running super pun. All right. So, makeup. Everything is in one palette, y'all. It is so condensed. It's amazing. It makes traveling so much easier. So, normally, you would not start off with this big size. You would start off with, like, this size. This is a starter palette. Or you can be bumped up to this size. This is a good one. This size. This is my most common size right here that I sell. And so it just depends on your budget. There's so many different. I mean, you're obviously not going to need all this. <laughs> but there's just so many different options and so many different money-saving options that... Um, it, I can totally customize your palette to your budget. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eyebrow brush and I like to do my brows. And I do my eyes, my brows, my eyeshadows, everything before I do my 
eyeshadow, my foundation. And I actually take a contour color ash. This this is the cream, so these are what your foundation is gonna look like. So I'm gonna take the contour color ash, gonna dip that, and I'm just going to stencil out my eyebrows, which I had my eyebrows microbladed like three, four years ago. Three years ago. And they're super light now and so I, I still have a good stencil to use and so I'm just going to follow that. The all, I'm going to be using all Saint products today. I'm going to use one thing that's not Saint which is a setting powder but you can get it from Walmart. But I'll go over that when I get to that. Okay, so I like to just do just the underline. And I'm going to dip back in. See, I'm barely dipping this into my cream. And I'm going to flick up to fill in my eyebrows right here. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. And make it look like I have more of a full eyebrow. Like that. So I'm using the color Ash, the contour color Ash but you may have all of these your every single palette is customized to you so when i color match you i take into account your hair color your eye color your eyebrow color um do you tan are you tan you know i just do there's it's just a process so that's why i went ahead and attached my color form my color matching form so i can make sure that you guys are getting exactly what you need for your skin tone because people are going to naturally when they try to color match themselves you're going to color match yourself too light I'm a victim of it I have my ways I have I know I've been doing this for so long that just let me color match you it's free it's completely free there's no you don't have to feel like you you can get it done and then later on if you're like and you want to wait to buy like payday it's still good forever okay so I'm gonna go back in here and I just fill in I flick that brush the same growth pattern of my eyebrow hair and I find when I flick it like this it looks a little bit more natural instead of boxy my eyebrows are really this is hard because my eyebrows I have one with a scar on it and so I have to work hard to get them to look somewhat like sisters not twins but I'm just gonna feel that see how light that is easy super easy to to use I prefer a cream or a pomade I used to use a pomade and then I started using this this contour color and I was like oh I like that a lot better I like how everything is just in one area okay I flick over to that spoilie and I just very lightly brush that and just soften them up soften those lines just make it more natural looking pretty sure I don't know if you guys can hear my dog I think she has a snake bait outside yesterday I had a snake in my yard I almost stepped on it and um and she got it she attacked it for me so I think she has another snake because it's been like super wet and so I'm getting these snakes in my yard okay what time is this I think it's like almost 11 I'm just not eating my breakfast Alright, so now, what I like to do with lashes is the trick is when you put on lashes, and I do actually put on my lashes every single day. I have a new, I had a new glue in here, where'd it go? It is. Um, I put on lashes every single day because my true lashes are very 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 tiny 
and very, very blonde. And so, it's got stuck. And so, I have to put on lashes every day just so I, it's just, it's just easier for me. So, this is just an extra step that you don't need. But if you like to, if you want long lashes, I literally just use lashes from Walmart. I do not like expensive lashes. So I'm just taking, I got a new adhesive. So I'm just going to take that out. I do not like the expensive lashes. I've tried so many. I was actually affiliated with a company and I hated their lashes. I was like, this is not for me. So I just go to Walmart. I get the number of Levens. The So Wispies, the Kiss, I get five pairs for $8.88. And I can wear, if I take care of them, I can wear one pair like up to five times. So that's what I do. They're light. They're not like crazy heavy. And so I just take the, and this is the Kiss adhesive. And it goes on white. And then... What I like to do is I put it on and I set that lash aside and I let that glue get super, super, super tacky before I try to apply on my lash line. Or See, it's white. When it starts to turn like an iridescent purple, that's when you know that you are ready to roll and put that on. So, and I do, if you're on Instagram, you should find me on Instagram with so sim Simply Chic with Whitney. And I actually have a video on there of how I apply my lashes so so I just let that get dry so two tricks let that glue get iridescent purple or there's a black one but I'm I like I just like this white one because I can see when it starts to dry second trick is your eyeshadow primer which going back to my cream I actually use my lighter highlight. I take the Saint powder brush. Wait. I think it's all in this palette right here. Yeah. So see here. I take my lighter highlight, which is linen, and I'm just going to very lightly press that onto my eyelid. And this is a good trick to make sure that that eyeshadow sticks and looks fresh. And also, this helps with your eyelashes sticking easier. So you can't even see my real eyelashes when I don't have any mascara on them. They're so tiny. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. Got the highlight put on. Then we're going to go into my okay this is the cool part all of your eyeshadows are sold separately so each one is twelve dollars you don't have to you can build your own palette if you run out of one color you just go on order and it's always always free shipping there's no minimum free shipping so these are a lot of eyeshadows I have I also have like some in here in this little palette I just have I love eyeshadows so I I think I'm gonna use I'm kind of been into this orangey look and so since I'm wearing a white shirt I can wear any color that I want so I'm gonna use out of this one I got a couple new colors in the other day oh and that's another thing is we are launching at noon 12 new eyeshadow colors so I am so excited for that and you get and if you buy in bundle you get the brushes so this is the double in a brush right here and I'm gonna go ahead and with this new color this is Leo it's like a burnt orange and I'm gonna use I like to use the blend part to apply because I find it puts it on a lot softer and less dramatic especially with these bold colors so this is Leo it's a burnt orange I'm going to put it all over and very lightly towards my lash line I don't really put much product on my lash line because I'm going to put some eyeliner on it but look how pretty Leo is okay and this is my 
I am going to do a full face foundation, but I, tomorrow I want to show you guys this summer what I do for my summer look. But I wanted to show you guys the full on foundation. See how pretty that is? And then I'm going to go in with Zion right here. And I'm just going to stipple motion that just on the outside corner and blend it in with Leo. Like that. Very, very light. These are matte colors. We have so many different colors. And then we'll have 12 more launching at noon and a new palette. I'm so excited. It's like a mermaid palette. It's so pretty. It's like in iridescent rainbows. Okay, so there's Zion. Then I'm gonna flip over to the dome part. And let me, I forgot what color this is. This is a new color. Oh, this is As You Wish. See, they just pop out. They're magnetic. And they just pop right back in. Isn't that glorious? So I'm going to flip over and I'm going to apply As You Wish right here. And then I'm also going to apply it very lightly down here. Just a little bit of a color. So Zion, um, Leo, and As You Wish for those. Okay, and now my eyelashes are ready to be applied. They're starting to turn clear, the glue. So I just take the Kiss tweezers and I just clip them in the middle right here like this. I take a handheld mirror, I look down and I put them just very slightly above my real lashes. And these are clipped down. I um, have to cut these lashes down a little bit because they're too long for my eyes. See how easy that was for them to, to stay sticking? It just takes lots and lots of practice too. I've been doing lashes for many, many years. I took a year off when I got extensions, but look at that. Look at that difference. When I had lash extensions, I took it, like I had lash extensions for a year and a half. And then my anxiety kicked in and I started pulling them off. And damaging my real lashes, so I quit getting extensions. Okay, so I got the next one, and you could just use a regular pair of tweezers too. And then I'll just push them up like this. I need to go a little bit lower on this side. There we go. Okay, and then that's it. See how easy that was? So I might need to. Let me see here. Hmm. Let me just leave them. Let me let that glue get a little bit more 
So give them, give that glue about a minute, two minutes to dry. And then you can finish your eye makeup. See, see how easy those were? So two tricks, eyeshadow primer, and let that glue get tacky before you apply. All right, so now let's go into, while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go into my foundation. So I have my full face right here. Your foundation is, so it's a 410 method. You're gonna come with a contour, you have your under eye highlight, your base highlight, and your lip and cheek. And then I'm also going to add a Bella bronzer into it. And we did three eyeshadows. So that's, I believe, and it came with two brushes. So that's bundle number four. So we use bundle number four, which is like, if you buy in bundles, you save so much money. So bundle number four, you save like 50 bucks when you buy in bundles like that. It's a really good deal. All right. So bundle number four, you get three eyeshadows, two lip and cheeks, your Bella bronzer, and your four tens, and then you get two brushes. You'll get the Buffy brush and the blush and bronzer brush. So we're gonna take the Buffy brush first. I'm gonna go into my lighter highlight, which is linen, and I'm gonna pop that on the outside corner. You see I'm chiseling out my eye like this, and then I'm gonna do it on the inside corner like that. Same over here. And I'll point out, see how I'm running low on my lighter, on my main shade? I'll just need to go on, order that, pay $14, get my free shipping, and I have it in a few days. They're pretty quick. Like if you order early in the day, they usually ship that same day. Unless they're having a special, like today is customer appreciation day, so who knows how busy they'll be. Okay, so there is linen, and I also like to put it in between, on the bri do bridge of my nose and in between my eyebrows like this. Like that, and I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna do my contour, which this summer I use Astoria. And so I'm just dipping that and I'm gonna put directly on my cheekbones. Like that, and then my forehead. So your contour is your shadowing. You are putting a shadow on your face. And then I like to do my jawline. Do it all around like that. And then I do my nose. And don't worry about it being absolutely perfect because you're going to blend this all together. So it looks super crazy. And then I like to do it right here too. Give me a more pouty look. And the key is keep it light. You don't want to do too much, but if you do do too much, it's an easy fix. All right. Hold on a second. Let me find... Okay, so we did the contour, my lighter highlight. I'm just gonna take the Saint brush cleaner. I'm just gonna clean this end off real quickly. I just spray it directly, then I clean it on a towel. And you can use it right away. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my main shade, Aura, right here, which tomorrow my shade will be changing because I'm gonna get a uh, spray tan. And so, I'm going to put Aura everywhere else. I did not put any other color. So you want to keep this one layer. You don't want to stack your makeup. It will not blend properly and it'll just kind of look cakey. You want this to be one layer to flow together. 
and right there, and right there. See? So it's a paint by number game. And then now we'll blend. Sometimes it's good to let it, your face sit and let it just kind of warm up. I'm going to turn the fan towards me because I'm hot. Okay. So, if you're finding that it's hard to blend, it's probably because it's too cool. And so, just give your, let your body heat warm it up. I'm obviously not hot right now because it is hot outside and it's, so you can start just stipple motion. And I like to use the Buffy brush around my eyebrows so I don't mess up my eyebrows. And I'm just going to stipple motion this. And let this all flow together I don't want to wipe it everywhere because then it just moves that makeup around you want to keep it in your spot but you just want it to flow together let me get my hair is burning me bugging the crap out of me. All right, there we go. Okay, so just simple motion that, but look how beautiful that all blended together. Look at that. Isn't that like so stinking beautiful? And this is such a dewy look. And yes, if you're matured skin, you need this makeup. It is wonderful, wonderful for mature skin. Okay, so for the rest of my blending, I like to use the blush and bronzer brush. And I'm just going to use that same technique and I'm just going to blend this all in together. Oh, look at that. Look at that magic. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? I love this makeup. And the best thing about this makeup is when you, the longer you wear it throughout the day, it oxidizes with your skin and it just looks perfect. Like when you go by the mirror, you're like, oh, hey, girl. Because you know how like most makeup starts to wear down and just like eh, throughout the day as you're busy? Not this. And it, if you work out like me, right, obviously in the more I right now I'm working out in the mornings, but like after school, I'll go work out in the afternoons and this makeup looks just as good as I as it just looks just as fresh after I'm sweaty. Okay, and then make sure that you really blend that contour because see if you don't blend it see how it looks like you have a floating head blend it down like this and you'll and you're gonna you'll still have that really sharp jawline but you won't have like a floating head <laughs> I've been guilty of it <laughs> I've been guilty of floating heads <laughs> I actually did a reel on my Instagram and after I posted it, I went back and watched it. I was like, oh my gosh. Because at one point, like I, I was facing this way. I was like a floating head. <laughs> but I just left it. Because I actually had like 13,000 views on it. And I did not want to take it off. And that's the only reel that I've had good views on. Okay. And if you get to the point where you're like, oh, I put too much. Just dip a motion. And make sure that you blend up and out. Don't blend down because you're going to drag your face down and it's going to look droopy. So blend up and out. I'm going to squish that so I can get... Man, that dog. I hope it's not like a water moccasin. We have a creek right behind our house. So I'm always... Like the snake that I almost stepped on yesterday was just a water snake. It wasn't water moccasin still actually did not react like I usually do I hate snakes look how look how flawless that looks look I still have a nice cheekbone without like too much and a lot of people are so used to contouring with bronzer with our bronzer, 
it creates a beautiful sun-kissed glow. The contour creates shadows to, to um, accentuate and add depth and, and perception into your skin. I'm just going to take my main shade down my neck right here. Just blend that. Well, isn't that beautiful? So, you can just totally stop here. I've done, I think I did like a basic video for you guys. But, I want to do a full on glam for you guys. And I want to show y'all, like Bella Bronzer is the game changer. You want Bella Bronzer. So, this is Bella Bronzer right here. Take your finger. And you're just going to dab that on top, not on top of your contour to give yourself this beautiful sun kissed glow. And I come a little bit down on the sides of my forehead like this. And then I'm going to do right here my cheekbones like that. And then I also like to do, I like to take the hack brush. This is a good brush for contouring. But I'll take this in and I'm going to chisel out my nose. Like that. And give myself a nice chisel out nose. Okay. And then right here too. Give a pouty look. Okay. And then we'll go back to the blush and bronzer brush and we're going to simple motion that up and out and give this beautiful tanned look. Like you've been outside working and you have this amazing glow. I'm telling y'all, everyone needs Bella bronzer in their life. And honestly, during the summer, I don't even use, I just use Bella Bronzer just to add a slight color to my face. I don't do full on foundation during the summer. Which I'll show you guys my summer vibes palette. Look at that. Isn't that a game changer? Isn't that so pretty? And so I'm just gonna do the same right here. Simple motion that up and out. Give my cheeks a beautiful kiss. and then I'll squish it down and I'm just going to soften up my nose look at that look at that and I don't do it on my neck you can do a little bit on your neck. Um, I personally don't when I do the full 3D foundation because I already have the contour and I feel like it makes my neck look dirty. But I see a lot of girls do the Bella bronzer on their neck on top of their contour, but it's just not my thing. All right, so then we're gonna go to our lip and cheek. So what's amazing about, their, about these is you can use these for a blush and a lip gloss. I'm obsessed with the lip and cheeks. I have so many of them. It just depends on the day. But right now, um, your girl is all about baby watermelon. Oh no, this is pink grapefruit. I want baby watermelon. Let me see here, right here. So this is baby watermelon. It's a really pretty pink. I'm gonna just take my finger and I'm going to put this on the above the contour and the Bella bronzer like that. And you don't need a lot. Then I go back to my blush and bronzer brush. Do you guys see how much I use this brush? It's amazing. It's my favorite brush. The Buffy brush and Bella bronzer is like the bee's knees. Or the, the Buffy brush and the blush and bronzer brush is the bee's knees. Look how pretty that pink is. Isn't that gorgeous? I did. I barely used any of that. Alright. Then, to give myself this really pretty pop of glow, 
I come back and I use what's called an eliminator. The eliminators are all powder, so I keep them separate from my cream so that I don't want them to get my creams all nasty. And so I'm going to take, this is the blend brush, and I think I'm going to use, I'll use Scarlet today. It's a little bit not as pigmented, but these are super, super pigmented. But look at that. And I just put that on the bridge of my nose. I put it on the higher parts of my cheekbones. But I do a C like that. See, I'm just doing a C around my eye. And same right here. I'm just creating a really pretty glow. And I put it above. I do. This is called a Cupid's bow right here. And I put my lower lip. And if you feel like you got too much, just flip over to that blend brush and just blend it until you are at the consistency. This is the only time I use this brush. I don't really, I see lots of girls blend their whole face with this. Um, I don't, I don't, was just like, eh, about it. So, but look at that glow. Not pretty. I also like just to give my eye a pop. I go back to my eyeshadow and I will put it in the corner of my eye right here and just kind of lighten that up, um, blend it in with the rest of my of my eyeshadow and see how it just pops through that corner eye. And then I like to just do the same thing, but I'm just going to put it right there. Um, just under the arch like that. I don't do the full arch. I just do just right where it does that where it comes up. Pretty, huh? So gorgeous. All right. And let's see here. Let me find my lip pencil or my lip brush. It's so tiny. It sometimes gets lost in my makeup bag. And I can't see it. There it is. So, I'm going to give myself, I'm going to go back into my contour and I'm going to line my lips with this contour just to give it, make my lips look bigger. You don't want to do it too heavy because it just doesn't look good okay and then take your finger and just kind of Soften that line up. That. Then let's go back. Oopsies. Okay, this is not Saint, by the way. Alright, so I'm going to do. Let's go back to Baby Watermelon for my lip. And my favorite thing is mixing these colors. So I'm going to go into Summer Love. I'm going to put that on top. And just soften up. Because I don't want too much of a pink. Boom. All right. So we're going to set this 
with the setting spray, the same spray that I use for my primer, and then we're gonna finish my eyes. I do this, I, I do my eyes after because it'll get my mascara and my eyeliner wet and it'll make it bleed. So hold this out about 12 inches and spray. And then I'll just take like an, I have like literally an old Christmas bag and I'll just let it dry. And so this adds a really nice dewy touch. If you are not into the dewy look, you can set it with a setting powder. I use the air spun. I sometimes do this just under my eyes. It's like six to ouch. It's just like six dollars from Walmart. You can do it that way. Um, but it makes your makeup look matte, which is totally cool if you're into that. But I'm a dewy girl, so and I used to not be. I used to be total matte, but I love, love, love the dewy look. Let that dry. Okay. Now let's finish that my eyes. I'm going to take the eyeliner, the eye brush, and I use the Saint. This is called, this is the Black Friday eyeliner. It's a liquid, I mean, it's a cream, but it does not wear off or bleed like some people think they, it would. And I go in between my real lashes and my falsies, and I color in that line right here. Just to bring this whole eye look together. My dog is driving me nuts. See, it's super easy to apply. Look, it just kind of brings in that whole eye look. Same on this side. I love, this is my favorite eyeliner. And it's very soft. I don't want a harsh line. And so that's why I really like this one. Give it just a little wing, like that. Itty bitty wing. Okay, then I go into my good old Walmart mascara, put a little bit on top, a little bit on bottom. And we are good to go for the day. See how this whole look just so pretty. Oh, Maggie. more coat and we are done ladies we are done look how pretty this look is it's really easy I think your your biggest um, obstacle you're gonna go through or have to jump when you first start is um, 
how much product you use because we naturally want to use too much product you don't want to use a lot you just need a little bit amount because a lot goes along or a little bit goes a long way and um, another question I get is how long do the tens last that is a great great question so your contour this is going to last you like three to six months your under eye highlight will last you anywhere anywhere from probably like four to five months your main shade is going to last you three months your blushes will last you a year a year <laughs> and then your bella bronze will last you about three to four months if you use it every day which i use it every day even when i don't do full face i still always put on bella bronzer but all right so i'll just get closer i'll do a picture for you guys um like i said my color match form is attached to this video i also posted it earlier in the group so you can just click that link fill out that form i'll get an email and then i will send you your color matches back so you guys have a good day a good tuesday and tomorrow i plan on doing my summer vibes look for you guys for those of you who don't are not really into a full face so have a good day bye